Gary, right into the thick of things with the Saturday, Tuesdays, Lincoln, Lincoln Tuesday night. Clearly, a side who are going really well. Yeah, they're in tremendous form. Um, having a really good season. So yeah, we've um, yeah just spent obviously today preparing for them and um, yeah travel up there and you know try and build off you know in the end what was a good point for us. Um, I said it after the game, even reviewing the game and going through it today with the players is pretty much how how we fought in terms of you know a lot of good things in the first half that we saw. Second half, although well, we didn't see it as as much as we did in the first half, there was still the the good edge of making sure that we saw out a result. Do you know what I mean? Um, and for all the reasons I said after the game, so um, we're looking to try and build on that. Putting back to back results together is something that we've talked about. That's what we're you know, helps you get up the league, helps you get the points you need. So we've been preparing for that today and since the you know, end of the Northampton game. And um, yeah, let's go down Tuesday and we'll know it's going to be difficult. And they're in a good reign, uh, reign of form, had a great result at the weekend. But even before that, you look at their results, fantastic. Um, we're focused on ourselves um, and try and deliver a good performance. Yeah, their, their defensive record is, has been really strong. You talk about what you liked from the game on Saturday. And I guess it's massive, isn't it, to, to try and harness that, that positivity. That will take you a long way if you can focus on the things that you like and that you think the side are, are good at. Yeah, and that's, look, that's part of this process, isn't it? You know, when you're coming in at this stage um, and you're trying to reinforce things, um, you need to see bits, of course, like within the actual matches. That's the proof of the pudding, isn't it? So, you know, I did see en enough there in terms of, you know, we've only been working for a short period of time. There was enough there, but like I said, especially in that first half, was there was enough of that to make you know the players understand that that's what we can do. Yes, we need to get better at everything, of course, but um, I thought the level that we delivered in the first half um, was very good. So um, yeah, we've focused on that type of things. There's a few tweaks and stuff with different teams that we play that you need to do. Um, so there's a few tweaks that we need to do for, for Lincoln, the way they, they play and stuff like that. So, um, but again, we're on the training ground today. The boys are receptive and got a good attitude towards it and looking for to see that come out again on Tuesday. I guess it will be the case with all of the away games coming up, but with your managerial career to date, you've, you've not been to any of these places as a manager. So does it bring back memories of your, your playing day going to a, a place like Central Bank? I, um, I scored one of the best own goals you'll ever see it. <laughs> So if you actually go on YouTube, um, my boys continuously play it to me. Um, I think it's a great finish. You have to watch it. You'll be go you'll be googling it now on YouTube. But um, it's a great finish. Yeah, I've got memories of of here and stuff. So yeah, not such a good memory that one. But um, yeah, look to make a good memory on Tuesday. Excellent. We'll all be hitting Google once we're yeah. once we're done here with the. You can rate it. Rate rate it for own goals. <laughs> with the good. with the team news, clearly disappointing to lose George Thomas to such a serious injury. Yeah. I guess from your point of view, though, there is a sense where you've just come in and you haven't had him anyway. So mm. in in that kind of purest technical sense for the remainder of the season, actually, for you personally, it doesn't change too much if you if you look at it that way. It does because I'm losing a player <laughs> but, um, and a good player. But um, no, look, it's part and parcel of... of coaching and management isn't it you know players unfortunately at times get injured or are missing for whatever reasons you have to adapt and, and move on with it and um, I thought we adapted to that well at the weekend well enough and um, but of course as a, as a, as a head coach you, you want as many options to you as possible um, especially from at this stage of the season where freshness you know it's, it's been a long season for all the teams you know niggles and things like that are, are common and, um, and freshness is a big part of it so having options to maybe make changes you know not just before games but within games and stuff like that and um, of course you know, losing George to that is a, is a blow you know but you're right in the one sense is it, it doesn't change anything in terms of you still got to put 11 players out on the pitch um, who can do it with the right attitude and, and hopefully the right level they did it well enough on, on Saturday there's still more to go for sure, but um, yeah, it is a case of just adapting and getting on with it. Yeah, brave, brave attempt to put a, a positive spin on it with the with the midfielders that you've got. Clearly, the senior ones, Paul Digby, Jordan Cousins, Adam May as well. Beyond that, do you think you might look to to maybe repurpose somebody in there or get a youngster into the mix, or do you think those three, if they stay fit, could carry you through to to the end of the season? 
No, of course you need it at this stage as well. You need experience, the situation we're in as well. You need experience, but I've also shown before, I've been in this situation before and, and used young players and um, in situ so I, I do it how I see it. Do you know what I mean? What we, what's needed? So it's not a case of someone's got no experience. You know, do I think it's whether I feel that they suit and they're capable and they can deliver a performance that, that we need. Do you know what I mean? So we are thin on the ground in the, on the squad. Um, we have got some coming back. Um, you know, over the next couple of weeks, which is going to be huge. Um, well, obviously, straight away we've lost, <laughs> lost, <laughs> lost George and. And that situation, but um, no, it's, it's there's young lads on behind it. I'm having a good look at them now. Do you know what I mean? And yeah, we'll pick squads and teams to start that see fit that can give us the best opportunity to win games. Yeah, the injury list has been quite lengthy. Is quite lengthy, and also some lengthy, relatively serious injuries on that. I think for some of them, we've probably lost track as to exactly where players are at. For somebody like Lewis Simper, is he close to, to being back in the mix or is he still a, a long way away? So like They're all varied, aren't they? So there's, 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 a, there's a quite a few back on the grass, but um, what they need is you know, someone like him, they need obviously a period of time on the grass you know, to condition again. So when you have long-term injuries, the deconditioning, not that they're not fit, but it's a t totally different... You can only get them so fit. Um, but it's time on the grass that actually builds up their, f their football specific fitness and and a lot of them will need some time. Some will be able to move quicker, um, like your Gassons and, and Gibriels and Fajiri and stuff like that. They're a little bit further ahead than the other guys. Um, but there's some others not far behind that and then obviously some more long term. So um, I'm just waiting every day for when the physio comes in and tells me it's another day chalked off, they're this day closer. So, um, yeah, the more bodies we can get back is crucial. You know, we need that. We are very thin, but that is just what it is. You know, that's just, there's no problem with that. We just get on with it and, and welcome anyone that comes back in, in the time frames that we need. Could you get one of Fajiri or Gassan within first team contention by, say, the Easter weekend, or would that be too soon? I hope so. That's the idea and plan. Um, you know, they're not far away. It'd just be how they react on the grass, you know, and then incorporating back into trainings, how they react to their injuries from before. And But you never know that until they're doing it. So they're back on the grass and doing conditioning work and you know, specific movements. But it'd be once they come back into full contact training and, and have a little period of that. We don't have a lot of time, so there will be cases of but never risking the player. But it's just how they react. So you never know until they're doing it. But um, so far, those, those guys, especially the... Ones that are more, you know, media are, um, are doing really well. So yeah, w I'm, we definitely welcome that. Yeah, it had been indicated previously that Harrison Dunk might be quite close. Has he had a bit of a, a setback? Is he further away? Do you know what? Like, there's been so many. <laughs> uh, I've lost track on all of the things. I've got it on my sheet on my <laughs> desk and everything like that. I can't tell you the exact time frames, but I think all of the injuries are making progression. But the guys that I mentioned are the most immediate ones, um, and then beyond that. Um, be constant checking and, and seeing. And with your planning, presumably you, or maybe even before you got the job, when you're doing the presentations, you factor all of this in, but you got a pretty clear idea of how this would work over the, the final couple of months, roughly where everyone would, would be anyway? Yeah, of course. But um, And you also know as well that those things on paper, you can look at it on paper as much as you want until you're in the building and you're actually speaking with the medical department, you're speaking with the players themselves, you never quite know where they're going to be and where they're at. So it's, then you realise, OK, these are the actual probably more realistic time frames and stuff like that. And, and then again, it's just all adjustable, isn't it? Because it's, it's how they react to situations they haven't been in for quite a while. So um, like I said, some are further ahead than the other. Some are going really well. Some are expected within the next week or so, which would be great. Um, and some are a bit longer, but it's all kind of a moving target, if you know what I mean. Brilliant. That's great for me. Cheers, mate. From what you've seen of thinking... Gary in this last 11 games what makes them so good what is it about this run you know they don't seem to concede many goals for a start yeah. no but obviously they're super organised um, they've got a lot of athleticism in their team um, so they're, they're willing runners and and yeah very clear how they play and they're adaptable as well there's, there's, they're clear in their principles but they adapt their formations and stuff like that but stick with their principles so yeah you can see why they're doing so well um, I said a lot of athleticism a lot of you know, quality in certain areas as well. Um, and yeah, it got a clear way of playing. So um, I know formations 
adapt within that, but their principles are really clear for me, analysing them. Um, so I'm not surprised to see them on a good run and, um, and pushing up. And they probably still have ambitions, even though it's outside of, you know, they're not far away from those sort of playoff positions and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so their mentality would be to keep pushing and doing what they're doing. So we have to be mindful of that. But if I said to you all the way through, I'm very focused on us. We have to get ourselves right. It, it doesn't matter what the opposition do in the sense of if we're not at the levels we need to be at. So you know, if we look at the Northampton game, I thought our levels were very good, where we kind of need to be in that first half. But um, second half probably didn't hit those levels um, in certain aspects of the game. So we need to try and do that and put that on the pitch and you know, from what we saw in the first half and, and try and do it you know, with a few tweaks that will have to be in there tactically because it's a different team against Lincoln. But those principles of what we're going to try and follow need to be there for you know, the 90 minutes. That's our aim. How pleased were you with the goal you scored on Saturday? It felt like a real training ground move between Liam and Jack and then Elias on the sort of edge of the six-yard box. That must have been really pleasing as well. Yeah, we talked about those situations and sort of went through it in training and, and in here um, about those sort of situations, what we can do, because that's the ability of, of the team. You know, as I said to you before, showing them their ability was, was a key point. And... Um, and then trying to put those players and help them to you know, feel free to be in those positions to to show their quality. And I think you know we we, we won the ball back and we moved the ball quickly. We found the, the guys in the good positions that we needed to. And it was a fantastic goal. You know, good combination with Liam and and Jack. And then Catch was there to finish it off. So um, yeah, that's what we want. We want more of that. That's the, that. It's good signs for them. You know, that should give them confidence that we can do that to teams. You can use that type of quality, but. It's about doing it as regular and more often as, as possible. We did that in the first half well. Um, second half, we we didn't do that um, enough. Um, but that's something for, to work on. Expectation levels, of course, I want it for 90 minutes or 96 minutes or 99 minutes, was it, on Saturday for, um, for as long as we can. But you know, I have to understand as well that we've only just been in here a few days. So um, the will's there, the intent's there, but... Showing them ways to maintain that is going to be important. Not after specific, specific sorry, names or positions, but given a tight turnaround, can we expect some changes tomorrow? I know you're very limited with some yeah. injuries and things, but can we expect some changes in the starting lineup? Yeah, look, I'm again reviewing them when they're coming back in, how they are after games. You know, I mean, there's always knocks. You know, some are carrying knocks. Some, are, you know, you look at fatigue levels and stuff like that. So, um, make a decision tomorrow on the team. Um, we don't have huge options. Um, or being able to manoeuvre the team. But, um, yeah, I think that's just a game-by-game -game situation that I have to do. And there is a bit of planning that goes ahead, you know, in these sort of periods um, for freshness. But really, it's moment in time getting to know the players, see how they react to games. And freshness is a big part of of this period. So, um, yeah, we'll see. We've got, we'll see how they are tomorrow and then make some decisions on the team. Good to know. It's all right. It's a good goal, isn't Great finish. Facing the other way. I blame the winger, Andy Robinson, man. Robbo, just clear your lines. Playing it across the 18 yard box like that. How's that gone in there? Hit the bar it's nearly impossible. You couldn't do it again. You couldn't do it again. Yeah, it was a bubble. Steve, any from you? Yeah. yeah, can I just ask one, please? Just on the, the injury situation, I just wondered if um, any of, I think you said Jibberal and Gasson and Pajiri were the three that were close. Is there any of those? The likelihood is no, but um, but yeah, hopefully really quickly after that. Um, and we've obviously got Red in at the weekend as well. I'm not, if I'm honest, I'm not looking too far ahead, but um, yeah, hopeful. Probably Tuesday's a little bit too soon, um, but sometimes it's a bit needs must. But um, I'm conscious of not really forcing that needs must attitude. Um, it's important that they're right. Um, so, yeah, probably very unlikely for those guys um, for Tuesday.